team. John, uh, would you care to take a swipe at the Louisville coaching job and what they're going to do there? Because um, it feels like they doubled down on getting Scott Drew, which was a mistake because he wasn't leaving Baylor. Uh, and then now, like, it seems like their field is drying up a little bit. Yeah, I, I do think that their that their field has dried up a little bit. I also I also wonder uh, if Josh Schertz is emerging here, the Indiana State coach who's still in the NIT. You know, for me, like Pat Kelsey's on the radar from Charleston. Well, if Pat Kelsey was the guy. Wouldn't you have hired him by now? Richard Pitino has emerged on their list. Uh, I think that, the, and that would be fascinating. Although <laughs> I just don't, I don't see how Louisville can hire a Pitino. I, I, that that to me seems like it's too far fetched. Maybe I'll be wrong and eat my words. Richard had nothing to do with the Rick Louisville era, other than the fact that, well, he is his son. Uh, but but we'll see. I I uh, I do think Louisville's at a crossroads. It's not going to be Scott Drew. It was never going to be Scott Drew. I think this. You know what this says to me, guys? That. Louisville is no longer a blue blood program. It's no longer a top 10 job. It's a passionate fan base. It's a, it's a quality job, but there's been so much damage. There's, this is like, here's what I like in it too, right? You guys in your neighborhood or area, is there a, is there an establishment? There's gotta be an establishment. I won't name any names to call anybody out. 25 years ago, they made the be- they had the best food, the best of the best. And the place is still around, but the place has gotten lapped. And they're still trying to be open for business because of who they were 25 years ago. And they're no longer that. They're no longer that. You can't do things. You can't be the same who you've been forever. And it just, I get an Oakland, now Vegas Raiders vibe from Louisville. I think the brand is big. I think the fan base is huge, but I think their dysfunction speaks for itself. And I think that anybody who's, who's looking at this job, who's currently got a nice job is too afraid of doing what Chris Mack did. Chris Mack left Xavier, a, a very nice job for Louisville. And within three, four years, it didn't matter that at one point his team was going to be a, you know, was one of the best teams in college basketball. It ended. It ended over drama and dysfunction and just a lack of building culture. It, it is a massive rebuild there. And if you're Duke, Kentucky, or Carolina, and that job opened, even if you were at your worst, it wouldn't be looked at as a massive rebuild. We should never look at a top 10 job as a massive rebuild. To me, Louisville is now a large rebuild and something that other high major coaches don't want any part of because of the scars they've seen from their colleagues. When the Drew speculation, which was mainly made from somebody obviously leaked it, the Louisville media, I could see why they would love that. Uh, I sent a note to an administrator at Baylor, and the response to me was, "This is no. if this was 10 years ago, if this was 2012 or 13 or whatever, then maybe Scott at least looks. But now he's built what is, even though the last three years have ended quickly, he has built what is a brand-new arena that he helped build, and then obviously the national title and his recruiting is great right now too. So Louisville and men's basketball, and I, this pains me because I'm a Nebraska guy. Are they Nebraska in in basketball? What Nebraska yeah. is in football? Yeah, it feels that way. It yeah. really does. Because because again, there's a following. They rate on. Well, I will say this: TV executives tell me there's a bit of apathy in terms of their viewership, like. It's one of those things where, yeah, the brand is there, but it's kind of got Georgetown to it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it's yeah. been a while since they've been good. Yeah. Georgetown's the same way. Like, we talk about these schools and what they're known for. And that, like, the Patino era seems so far ago in, in Louisville. Think about this. You know why it seems so far ago? It wasn't that long ago. It's been in the last decade that he was the coach there. When, when they play their first game next season, they will have now had six different head coaches between interims and those interims, like David Padgett served a full season. They will have had six different coaches lead their team, go to press conference, represent their program in the last nine years. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you cannot have instability 
And and it's hey, I gotta ask you one more thing, John. You